Invasive species are said to disrupt our economic and environmental health and even threaten our human health. They disrupt our ecosystems. And in recent years, they have been the main contributor to bird extinction. Probably one of the first major invasive species was the lamprey eel that was brought in on, on uh, ballast tanks and build tanks years ago. We've had purple loosestrife come in, we've had uh, zebra mussels, we've had all sorts of other invasive species coming into our Great Lakes because um, there's not proper procedures are not being followed by a lot of shipping companies. They're dumping Mediterranean water in the Great Lakes. The larvae, when it's in the larval stage, can last up to three days on a boat. So if you don't wash your boat down properly, you can take it. The zebra mussels, for example, makes things look pretty but in fact they kill off many species. So in the southern part of, of Huon County they're having more growth of this algae and it's partially because of zebra mussels cleaning the water more. They, they take out all the nutrient, they filter it, makes it look shiny and crystally. And when the water is cleaner it means that the sunlight can come through to the bottom more. But they're, they're destroying and coating all the natural perch beds in Lake Erie. For instance the water that's behind me, these plants if the zebra mussels are in there cleaning it, those plants will be able to grow more profusely. They're doing a lot of damage to the ecosystem. Canada needs to be more diligent on policing that and, 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 and basically, you know, levying the, levying the fines. So there are a number of different things in the ecosystems that are being affected by climate change.